Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Cammie. If you haven't been able to tell already, I'm going to be eating like Chrissy Teigen for 24 hours and I'm super excited about this video because Chrissy Teigen is such a role model for a lot of women and she really shows that you can be successful, a supermodel, um, and eat good. I know she has two cookbooks. She has Cravings and then Hungry for More and they're both very good meals for families. It has all kinds of stuff in it. And so, yeah, and a super positive person. So I think it is super cool that she comes out with these cookbooks because girls gotta eat. So, yeah, and I looked up on Target for the description for her book. It says, Cravings, Hungry for More by Chrissy Teigen. She describes her cookbooks as recipes for quick as a snap meals, recipes for lighter, brighter, healthy-ish living, and recipes that'll fill your belly and heart with joy. Isn't that all we want? So yeah, so I'm excited to do this video. Um, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post, every Tuesdays and Fridays. And yeah, let's head to the morning. So for breakfast, she told Delish Magazine that she likes a farmer's breakfast. So two over easy eggs, turkey bacon, sliced avocado, and grilled tomatoes. So I have the eggs, the tomato, half an avocado, and I'm a dummy and got normal bacon. So we'll do that. And then she also said to Vogue magazine that she does not drink coffee. Who's somebody <laughs> that you would love to have coffee with? I'm not really a coffee girl. Oh. <laughs> so, I have tea. <laughs> We got the all kind of over easy eggs, I kind of messed those up, bacon, tomato, and avocado. Alright, looks pretty good. Oh yeah, we can't forget, she said Lula on the eggs. So, for lunch, um, I wanted to figure out something that she cooked for lunch because I know in her cookbooks, you pretty much can like do anything for like lunch or dinner. It doesn't really matter. And she does that too. She kind of like switches it out. So I went through her Instagram and I found a photo of the Scallop Linguini Casino that she ate for lunch one day. Went to her book and I got the ingredients and how to make it. And one thing I have to say, and I think this is about like most cookbooks though, is they have like a million ingredients and most of them aren't like stuff you already have. This one wasn't too bad. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty looking. So I hope it tastes good because I've never actually had scallops before. So, and I don't really like a lot of fish. So we have all the ingredients. We have the scallops, the pasta, the broth, everything. Okay, so while that's all heating up, I know I'm not the only one who doesn't know what a scallop, or okay, I know what a scallop is, but I didn't know where it like came from in the ocean. And listen to this, this is pretty interesting. <clears throat> 
A scallop is an edible blah 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 with a ribbed fan shaped shell. Scallops swim by rapidly opening and closing the shell valves. Like, like that, like what? Yeah, crazy. So maybe I'm the only one that didn't know that, but now if you're with me and you didn't know, now you know, you're welcome. This is what it looks like. Oh, my watch is in it. That's what it looks like. Her picture was a lot more cuter, or however you say it. And yeah, all I gotta say is I thought this was gonna be the easy recipe. And <laughs> um, dishes aren't too bad. Pot pan, strainer, cutting board, doable. A few utensils. But yeah, so I didn't take into consideration that this is a recipe for four to six. And there's just one of me. So I have a lot of food. And yeah, so I hope it tastes good because like I said, there's a lot. Pasta's good. Pasta is good. Oh, I'm scared. Mmm. Go me. It's not bad. Not at all. It's fishier than I'm used to. But not bad. Also, I do have to say, I had the fan on from the microwave, like over the stove on high, and my whole house is completely steamy. So, if you make this, open a few windows. It's dinner time now, and so for dinner we're doing the veggie couscous with spicy pine nuts. And I got this recipe out of the Hungry For More cookbook. And yeah, pretty much this one has ingredients that I already have, which is awesome. And yeah, so I am gonna alter it a little bit because I don't really like cranberries. So I'm gonna take the cranberries out. But other than that, everything else is gonna stay the same. And yeah. I'm excited, and since it's dinner time, Kendall's home, so he'll get to try it too. See what he thinks, but Kendall likes pretty much everything.
Is it good though? Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> no, yeah, what I was saying though was that the sweet potato doesn't even taste sweet because of, I don't know why. Like the seasonings maybe, or just the other ingredients. But it's good. Yeah, it seems a little crunchy. Maybe like, a, I don't know, how, how'd you cook it? Boiled it in broth. Some sweet potatoes are cooked more than others. I didn't stir it as much as I was supposed to. Well, it's still fantabulous. <gasps> Thank you. I just realized that I didn't properly end this video, so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It was a really fun experience doing this because I have a really bad habit of cooking the same things over and over and over again because I'm comfortable and used to it. So these meals were so delicious and so amazing, and it was really nice actually to get out of my cooking comfort zone. So yeah, if you guys liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up and comment any video suggestions you have down below. I would really love to hear your guys' input. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. And please subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.